Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Vieran and today we're here to talk about weapon sets from as soon as you hit level 20 all the way up to endgame what weapon sets you can potentially use in order to help your character progress through until you reach the endgame content and are able to get weapons such as Lionheart or the Dragonbone ones, whichever weapon set you want but first of all, we're going to go from level 20 so, once you hit level 20, you're going to have a load of campaigns that are open. The first one I suggest is the Undermounting. The reason is once you complete all these adventures here, you will begin to farm Master Expeditions. You get three Master Expeditions a day. And essentially what the Master Expeditions are, it's kind of like a mini dungeon. You got to go around picking up the, I want to say there's about nine stones. You pick up nine stones, you work your way through and that's pretty much it. You finish one, you get the reward, and the reward that you are looking for is the Alabaster Weapon Set. So, this is where Collections comes into play. Make sure you are paying attention to your Collections, because it can tell you a lot of gear, where to get it, and it can, yeah, it can show you a lot. So make sure you're using the Collections as and when you can. So we've got the Watcher Weapon Set, which is not what we're focusing on, but the Watcher Weapon Set drops from master expeditions also but you have to do the hidden bosses which are not a walk in the park they they are quite difficult some of them but anyway we've got the alabaster daggers here i'm on a rogue which is why there are daggers and whichever character you are on they will change accordingly so if we hop on to legendary here you're looking at the part two uh the two of set bonus at the start of combat your power and crit strike will be increased by one percent for every enemy you faced when starting combat to a max of 10% for 10 seconds. If facing only one enemy at the start of combat, your power and crit strike will be increased by 5% for one minute. So again, these weapons are really, really good. They will get you through a lot of content. Don't sleep on these. Item level 1000, I'm not sure if they were always that. I feel like that has been boosted. However, could be wrong. Who knows? And then, obviously, we've got... Um, the burnish set however i can't find these in the game anywhere it says you pick these up from the mount under mountain seal store i can't find the store so i don't know if they're still on the game but if you do manage to find these then definitely pick them up i would say that they're better than alabaster however that's neither here nor there both of them work great now if you're not going on into the undermounting yet you can also go to the trade bar merchant look at equipment uh, pick whatever class so if i click rogue and we have mountain e weapons here for 100 trade bars each which are really really good for the level anyway just for getting yourself through them starting adventures so when you are 25 feet or closer to your target your defense is increased by five percent when you are further then 25 feet from your target, your power is increased by 5%. So it's more of a ranged um, class weapon set, I'd say. Hunter, Ranger, Wizard, Warlock, anything like that. But that's that's it for the first two weapon sets. Now the next one that I'm going to talk about is actually one that is used still at Endgame. People are using it in Crown of Caldagon. People are using it in Vault of Stars. So if you're able to have patience and able to grind the river district out, you are looking for the Mirage weapons. I will see if we can find it in the collections. Um, I don't know where they will be though. That's Barovia. I don't know where they will be, but it is what it is. I mean, you're looking for Mirage, Mirage. Are these Mirage? 40 Mirage daggers, here we go. So these are the Mirage weapons. When you use an encounter power, you become a Master of Illusion for 10 seconds. As a Master of Illusion, you will summon three illusions of yourself to fight for you. Attacking your enemies, be forewarned, illusion magic can occasionally produce foul results. A Master of Illusion also does 3% more damage, which increases by 10% against enemies with shields and 10 hit points. You can only be a Master of Illusion once every 30 seconds. This is one of, if not the best weapon sets in the game. A lot of people swear by this weapon set. I normally forget to mention it. 
However, it was mentioned in the comments of my rogue build, but I don't personally use them because I don't want to farm them. So if you've got the patience, these weapons will definitely help you out. And all you need to do is go into the campaigns and look for the Cloak Descendancy. It's only 22k item level. And even if you want to, uh, you can just open the store here and you can buy the faulty ones. That means you've got to re restore them. And if you've got Genie's Gifts, you can buy yourself some bags here to give you some rewards. However, maybe I'll do another video on how you can actually get the currency for the Mirage weapons in order to restore them. So, we've gone through the Undermountain, we've gone through River District, and now we're going to go through Avernus. So, once you've got, if you've got the Mirage weapons, you don't really need any other weapons, um, unless you're one of them that farms collections for collection points. But the next ones in Avernus are called the Blessed Weapons. Again, we're going to make use of the collections. And let's have a look here. We're looking for Avernus. Avernus. We'll get to them ones in a minute. Okay, so Avernus, you've got the Blessed Weapons. And where these drop is in the Redeemed Citadel. Or you can go for the Celestial, but they're in Zariel's Challenge. I believe they're in the Master... You have to complete Master Zariel, but it's not that bad of a trial compared to Tower of the Mad Mage anyway. But blessed weapons here. When you use an encounter power, your weapons become blessed, which increases your power, accuracy, combat advantage by 3%, and grants you a random buff for 10 seconds. Uh, it, could, it could be blessed guidance, increase your crit strike by 5%, or blessed might, increases your action point gain speed by 7.5. Your weapons can also be blessed once every 30 seconds. So again, these are really good. You've got 1,400 on the item level as well. So if you want to pick these up, by all means, they will help you out a bunch. But if you have managed to get Alabaster, you probably want these as your next weapon set. If I can find a Legion Guard, I will share the Legion Guard with you guys. For whatever reason... Oh. Okay, here we are, here we are. They were just below. So, Legion Guard weapons, these drop in the treasure maps, in the chests. When you're running around Avernus doing your daily quests, then you will get treasure maps. And when you go and find the treasure, it has a chance of dropping one of these Legion Guard weapons. But you and nearby allies are granted the following. 1000 power, 1000 combat advantage, 1000 defense, 1000 crit avoidance. Again, a lot of people use these if they haven't got the Lionheart or the Mastercraft. This is what people use. And they'll help you to get through content. So, next we're moving on to the end game weapons. There's a bit, bit of controversy around these because, me personally, I prefer the Mastercraft, but they're only best for group content. However, Lionheart for solo play is the best, not by much. I mean, a lot of people might say Mirage is still the best. Uh, for me, I went with Lionheart just because I enjoyed uh, doing Tower of the Mad Mage more than I enjoyed the River District. But that's neither here nor there. That's just my preference. But basically, if your stamina is full, it increases your damage and outgoing healing by 7.5%. However, as your stamina decreases, then so does that 7.5% on your damage and outgoing healing. And that is why the Lionheart is one of the most sought-after weapons. Um... I still use it when I play on my own, or if no one in the group is using Mastercraft, I will throw on Lionheart. However, Mastercraft weapons are where it's at. I will tell everyone to use Mastercraft weapons if you want to know what they are. These are the old ones, so the new ones have higher item level. However, these are the old ones. I am not spending as much as the old ones cost. I'm not. It's not worth it for me. But you and nearby allies are granted the following. 2% outgoing damage, 2% outgoing healing, minus 2% incoming damage. And if you've got 5 people using that, then that will be 10% outgoing damage, 10% outgoing healing, and minus 10% incoming damage. It's a no-brainer. I mean, as long as everyone's using it in the group, it is the best option to go with. Um, but in terms of weapon sets, that is everything that I've got to share. 
maybe I'll do an honorable mention. Give me a second, I'll find it in the collections. Uh, I will try to find it in the collections. Okay, here we go. So, honorable mention. We I can't click down, but they're the ones from the Dragon Bone Veil uh, campaign store. And these ones are essentially from the new trial. They're basically just like the celestial ones from Zariel. They've just got higher damage output um, because of the higher item level. But that is about it for the weapons. Let me just look on the campaign store here for you guys. And we will... Okay, so here are the weapon sets. You've got the legendary versions. And there is purple versions, I believe... At the seal trader but this is f um, if you're a DPS you get 5% power if you're a tank you get 5% awareness if you're a healer you get 5% outgoing healing when using a counter you have a 15% chance to increase a boost based on your roll by 7.5% DPS will get recharge speed tank will get stamina regen healer will get action point gain so again if you can get your hands on these it's a big big grind but they're not gonna they're not going to beat your Mastercraft or your Lionheart, but they're just nice to have, I guess. Um, it's up to you guys if you guys want to farm them out. I'm sure a lot of people are into collections, so I'm sure they will farm them out. Uh, let me just look at the seal trader real quick, and then we'll call an end to the video. So, yeah, I don't think... Oh, these do have a set. Okay, so if you go to the seal trader, you've got 800 per weapon. And I didn't realize that these were a set, but they are. But when you are 25 feet or closer to your target, a stat dependent on your roll and forte is increased by 3%. So DPS will get power, tank will get awareness, healer will get outgoing healing. And also, guys, if you are struggling for gear, just pick yourself up some of this ancient scale breakers and some of these sh um, one of these shirts and one of these trousers. And that will boost your item level and boost your base damage as well. I should have mentioned that earlier in the video. I didn't realize just how much gear these seal traders had, but if you're a fresh level 20, this seal gear will definitely help you out. Don't sleep on it. Definitely get that seal gear if you need it. But that's the end of this video, guys. Let me know what weapon set you guys are using. I'm sure most of you are using Mirage, or maybe you guys have only just started playing. You've only just got to level 20, and this video has helped you out. If it has, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new and you want to see more Neverwinter content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.